I want to welcome you all to this uh, session, uh, the Encounter Series, which is the um, Encounter Series 240, Season 240. Uh, I bring good tidings. I remain the host, uh, Pastor Emmanuel Domero, and uh, I am glad to welcome you once again to this uh, season of the Encounter. Um, today is a peculiar day uh, because it's the first Wednesday of the month of November and uh, it's the 11th month of the year 2024. And um, we want to thank God for uh, how far he has taken us. Uh, God is good and is uh, a wonderful God. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, King of glory, we thank you, we bless you. We glorify your name for your faithfulness, for your mercy, for your protection, for your guidance, for yet another series of the encounter. And uh, we want to thank you, Lord, because you have shown us mercy. If not by your mercy, where would we have been? If not by your mercy, where would we have been? If not by your mercy, uh, we are not worthy to be one that will gather here tonight. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we give you glory. We magnify you. We thank you, Lord, for the encounter series. We thank you, Lord, for the vessels you will use tonight. Father, tonight is will not be one of those days. It's just it's, 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 it's because you are new every morning that you will renew our heart tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray that as many that you have ordained to be a partaker tonight, Father, Lord, they shall receive bountifully in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that as many that will watch this program, even afterwards, Father, Lord, your anointing, your power will touch them through the ministration tonight. Father, we thank you. We don't have any power of our own. Father, we rely on you. Father, as many that will minister tonight, we sanctify them with the blood of Jesus. We sanctify them with the, with the power of God that you descended upon us and there was resurrection. Father, Lord, we bless you. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that as the word goes forth, there shall be hope on heavens. There shall be miracles. There shall be testimonies. There shall be breakthrough. Father, we trust you. We believe in you. Uh, Father, we pray, so shall we be in the name of the Father in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, in Jesus' name. So, um, if you're watching been with us, or you're joining us for the first time tonight, uh, I want to welcome you. And uh, as, we, as usual, we uh, recognize those that are worshiping with us, or joining us for the first time on this platform, um, and uh, we give them a gift. A precious gift. Distance is not a barrier. Wherever you are, just DM and uh, we will reach out to you. God bless you really good is my prayer. And uh, tonight, shall we just close our eyes wherever you are and uh, begin to thank God for a renewed heart. Begin to thank God because you are not somewhere else, but you are in the presence of God. God bless you, uh, Brother Olawale Peter. You can DM, you can DM on, fa on Facebook, Emmanuel Domiro, and we'll get your gift across to you. I love it when uh, first timers who joins us come out and reach out, and uh, we will get you get some, we'll get something across to you. God bless you. So um, just lift up your hands and begin to thank God, worship Him, give Him glory, give Him glory, give Him glory, give Him glory. Begin to speak to God in any language you want is a universal. He knows your language. He understands your language. Just begin to yeah. begin to give Him glory. Begin to give Him honor. Begin to give Him adoration. Wherever you are, just thank Him. Thank Him from the bottom of your heart. That Daddy, here we are. You have kept us. January, February, March, April, May. This is November. Begin to thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God for his faithfulness. Thank God for his mercy. Ah, Baba Father will bless you. Abba Father will bless you. Abba Father will give you glory. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Begin to sing any song that comes from your heart. Begin to sing it unto him. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in my life. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We magnify you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have thanked. And uh, lastly, let us look into the, uh, the, the text for tonight. And I want you to you, you use that text to pray. It says, but on Mount Zion, there shall be those who escape, and it shall be holy. And the house of Jacob shall take possession of those who dispose them. Begin to pray tonight that tonight, as you have joined this program, that you are committing yourself into the Lord. Is there any area of your life that you, it seems to be a reproach? That God Almighty will break through for you tonight in the name of Jesus and you shall receive your possession. Prayer. Heavenly Father, King of glory, Father Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, that is there anything in our lives? Is there anything that seems to be a mountain, that seems to be a reproach? Father Lord, we destroy right now and there shall be hope on heavens in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, as we have come, we will take possession in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, at the mention of your name, every nails will bow, every tongue will come Prayers that you are God. Father, we trust in you. Father, Lord, there shall be divine breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. 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 If you are just joining us, I welcome you once again. And uh, I pray that as you have joined tonight, that the Lord will keep you, the Lord will bless you, the Lord will meet your needs tonight. In the name of Jesus. So at this point in time, um, I want to introduce the man of God. Uh, the man of God that will minister tonight. Uh, Father in the Lord. Pastor, um, Pastor Oluwale Oyene. Oluwale. Pastor Oluwale. Oh. The Redeemed Christian Church of God. House of Peace for all nations in the South End. Um, I'm excited that uh, South All, South All, South All. God bless you. Thanks, uh, Pastor Abi. So, um, I want to welcome him to take over from here. And um, please forget about any of your concerns. You have come to meet with the Lord, and I pray that as you have come, you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. Uh, thank you so much, uh, the moderator, Pastor Emmanuel. And I want to thank uh, God Almighty using this platform, Solid Rock Evangelical Outreach. Uh, the Almighty God will always back you up Man. as you continue in this work of the ministry. I want to welcome everybody to this platform once again this evening. Like Pastor Emmanuel said and prayed, everything that has to do with you, by the grace of God, God will possess them for you in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic we are handling this evening, just two words, possessing possessions. Possessing possessions. And the word of God from the text is from Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17. Obadiah 1, 17. God stated in this place that, but on Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness, mm. and the house of Jacob shall possess 
their possessions. When we go through the word of God in this Obadiah, and we start to look from the very first verse to 16, we will see what transpired there. We will see why God was talking and who he was talking to. There are a lot of condemnation because of the people, because of their way of life, because of those things that they were doing that displeased God. But on getting to verse 17 that I just read, God gave them a way out. And this is the way out God is giving to you and I this evening. The situation in that period is like the situation of our day world. But as many that can go through this way out, God is saying there shall be deliverance. Mm. There shall be is set free. Amen. We will possess our possession. Amen. When I was going through this particular verse, with the help of the Spirit of God, I was able to jot down certain things. And I want to believe as we give attention, you will be ministered to just as I was ministered to. It is stated clearly that every woman being made by God, every one of us, we have our possessions already reserved for us. There is no question about that. But the challenge is how to possess the possession. Why would God say that on this mountain, Mount Zion, why would God say that there is holiness and the fact that the house of Jacob would possess their possession based on this that he has stated before? Why? Because with the effort of man, it is hard. It is absolutely impossible. It is impossible to apply human effort to possess our possessions. Because if you look at what Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 says, Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6, it says that this is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel. Mm. Uh, what did he say? It's not by power, it's not by mind, mm. but by the spirits says the Lord of hosts. It's not by your strength. It's not by my knowing. It is only by the Spirit of God. It's God in the equation that can assist man to possess what belongs to man. It can only assist us to possess our possession if we follow what God has stated in his word. And the same thing, if you look at 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. 1 Samuel chapter 2, it says that, I'm going to paraphrase the last phrase. It said, for a man shall not prevail by might. A man cannot prevail by might. Because the world itself is wicked. Why? Because we have terrible people that are in the world that are ready to contest with you. They are ready to fight with you. That thing that belongs to you, they want to get it from you. They want to get what belongs to you. And that's why God is saying, come to Mount Zion. There you will get your possession. Then now we play, what, what is this Mount Zion we are talking about? 
Why is God saying we need to come to Mount Zion? Because there's a battle. There's a battle to fight, to prevail before man can possess his or our possession. Before we can get what belongs to us. It says clearly in Matthew chapter 11 verse 12. It says that since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God is sovereign violent. It's sovereign violent. So there is a battle, and it's only the violent that can take it by force. So it's not something that is that easy. It's not something that you just walk through and say, let me get my possession. No. You cannot go, I cannot go to a strong man's house without force binding the man. Without force, without involving a fight. We need to fight. When you are talking of possession, brethren, people of God, everyone online, all listening to me, we are not just talking of what you can see. Just little here. It's not, it's not something that you, you just walk through. No. But God wants us to have a breakthrough. God wants us to succeed. God, he wants us to be a success. God wants us to be a free man. God wants us to be liberated from this corrupt, sinful, unrighteous sex of people. God wants us to experience breakthrough notwithstanding the challenges of life. He wants us to live above all. He wants us to succeed. That's why he cried out by saying, but on this Mount Zion, he wants to liberate every one of us from this consistent, constant struggling, walking like olive elephant and eating like ant. He wants us to live beyond this. He wants to, us to get out of limitations. He wants us to begin to live an abundance life. He wants us to come out of restriction, depression, consistent failure. That's why he said, come unto Mosiah to possess what belongs to you. I'm sure the question some of us will be asking, what is this Mosiah? Why is it that this Mosiah is so important? Brethren, it is only on Mosiah that they are delivered. Where is this Mosiah? How come the Bible in Obadiah says, but on Mosiah? There is deliverance. It is a place where God Himself dwells. He dwells on Mount Zion. How do I know this? Look at Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18. He says there, he said, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders in Israel. You can put wherever you are. You are for wonders, you are for signs, your children. Myself, we are for signs and wonder. If you continue in that chapter, uh, uh, chapter verse 18, he said, from the Lord of hosts, which dwelleth in Mount Zion. Mount Zion is the place where God himself resides. It's the place where God himself dwells. It's the place where God is. That's why he's saying, come. Come to Mount Zion. Where is Mount Zion? The Mount Zion is where the king himself reigns. The king himself is reigning on Mount Zion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The king reigns in Mount Zion. Isaiah 24, verse 23. Isaiah 24, verse 23. He said, Then the moon shall be confounded. And the son has shaped when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion. So when you have the king reigning in Mount Zion, when you have him dwelling in Mount Zion, and he's saying, come to Mount Zion, there is your breakthrough in Mount Zion. He's saying invariably, come to the presence of God. Come to the spiritual source of your joy and hope. 
come to where you can have paths to life. Hallelujah. He said, thou shalt show me the path of life. In the presence is fullness of joy. Psalm 16, 11. Psalm 16, 11. That is the path that God wants us to go. That is why he's saying, come to Mount Zion. Because that is where our joy is. That is where our rest is. That is where God resides. It is a spiritual location. It is upon Mount Zion that God dwells. It is Mount Zion that we are declaring the kingdom of God. He said, come there. There is going to be deliverance. I can see that it's clearly stated to man that possessing our possession, it has to take God on our side. To possess our possession, our inheritance, that that belongs to us, for us to get, it must take God. It must take God being on our side. God is saying that we must come to his presence. We must come to him humbly, surrender to the almightiness of this God so that he can take up our shalem. We are God dwells, there is truly deliverance. We are God dwells, there is surely power. We are God dwells, there is surely lack, lack of failure, no failure, no depression. No oppression. Only in the presence of God we can receive our help, even to get our breakthrough, to get our inheritance. Hallelujah. Why is the Bible saying upon Mount Zion there is deliverance? If you look at the next thing, it said holiness. Holiness. The Bible says in Proverbs 14 34. Proverbs 14 34. He said, holiness exhausts a nation, but sin is a reproach to a people. Holiness, without holiness, we cannot sin. Why? Because God is holy. I, Obadiah is saying, the presence of God knows that is the place of God and which is Mount Zion. Hallelujah. The God that we are talking of that resides in Mount Zion is a holy God. So those that want to come to his presence to get that that belongs to them, to have God on their side, must be holy. First Peter chapter 1, verse 16. First Peter chapter 1, verse 16. He said, We cannot possess possession. If we are still in our sinful states, if we are still in our states, we cannot possess our possession. If we need God to be on our side, we must not be dirty. We must not miss what God does not want. Even in our lives, we just have to be like God. Romans chapter 6 verse 2. Romans chapter 6, verse 2. You will see what he says there. He said, we cannot continue to be in our debt and ask for grace to abound. Ask for grace to increase. Ask for grace to multiply. Ask for the presence of God when we are not clean. Amen? So that verse of the scripture, Badiah 117, is a total package. Number one, come up to the mountain of the Lord. Come up to the presence of God. Come up to where deliverance is. He said, come up. So there is a, a move from us to go to him. And while we are going to his presence, the next thing says, the other condition is you must go holy because where you are going, the presence of the holy God, you must go without baggage. You must go clean. You must go cleanse. You must go pure, pure in heart, pure in thought, pure in your plans, not having second opinion, but God. You must go holy. That's what that verse of the scripture is saying. He said to come to the holy place of God. 
you must present yourself holy without which it is absolutely impossible. Absolutely impossible. We cannot penetrate to the holy of the holy if we are not holy. It's only those that are in clean uh, garment that can go to the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you look at the same verse of the scripture, it says the house of Jacob. My question is, are you in the house? He said the house of Jacob. We know the story of Jacob. Jacob, we know the lineage as it goes to Jesus, our Lord. You will see that there's a connection. The son of the house We only enjoy the goodies of the father. So God is calling his own to make sure that they belong to the family. Make sure that you belong. You cannot be outside and want to benefit what belongs to the children. Look at that woman that came and was crying to Jesus. And his disciples said, hey, keep quiet. And she kept on disturbing him. And Jesus said, ah, I cannot give the food that belongs to the children, even to dogs. I cannot give what belongs to the children to the ones that are outside. So that is how God just packaged all we require to get our possession. Number one, come to Mount Zion. Make sure you come to him. Make sure you make a move to him. Be in his presence. And while you are going, make sure you are cleansed. Make sure you are pure. Make sure you are without any baggage. Just make sure you go. You will be saying, but I am... I, I have given my life to Christ, so definitely I belong. Oh, congratulations. Glory be unto God. But there's a, there's a way that we must follow consistently. Are we consistent in our work with him? Oh, if he said, no, I've been doing all that I need to do. Are you sure? Are you sure if you are sure? Congratulations. However, remember that the Bible says only those that endure to the end that shall be saved. So that means there are ways for us to still fight battles as much as you are alive, as much as I am living, until we breathe our last breath. We are in battle. We are in battle. There is still a possession that the enemy is waiting and want to prevent you want to prevent me from getting. We will get there very soon. As of Jacob, children of the Most High, children of the house, that is what he's talking about. If I don't belong to this family, there's no way I will benefit from the family. If I don't belong to the house of faith, there's no way I will enjoy the goodness of God. There's no way God will stand by my side and fight my battle. You will see that these three requirements are very important to get our possession. Number one, come up to Mount Zion. Number two, be holy. Number three, we are talking of the house belong to the house. When we now talk about possession, brethren, possession is beyond what we are talking about. Our possession, maybe my laptop is my possession, maybe my phone is my own. Do you know that some, some people will say, ah, my children, they are my possession, they are my property. Hallelujah. They are not our property, but God has blessed us with them. All these things that we are talking about, 
my house, my building, my car. Yes, thank God for God allowing us to have this. But the physical possession is just 0.0001% of the possession that we are talking about. The devil, the ultimate is not all this. What the devil is after is beyond this. Hallelujah. So we are going to look at what are the possessions we are talking about? What are other possessions? Let me put it like that. Other possessions that we can possess if we come to Mount Zion. If we are found in the presence of God, what are the other things that the enemy knows, the devil knows, that if I prevent this one from doing this, he will not be able to enjoy this. Let's look at this. Number one. Let's look at our health. A lot of people are struggling health-wise. A lot. It's not sometimes, oh, it's old age. But remember that even God, he can give us perfect health, even in our old age. That's a man of God. If you look at their age, you look at over 80, you see them still moving strong. Why? Because they know the secret. They have found the secret, and they are following that secret. They are sound headwise. Why? Because they have gathered this secret in Obadiah, going to Mount Zion, making sure they remain in Mount Zion so that they can possess their possession. Third John chapter 2, Third John 2, he said, I wish, he said, beloved, People of God, I will, above all things, that thou prosper and be in it, even as thy soul prospereth. Our soul is part of our possession. And the enemy, the devil, does not want us to have this. He wants many of us to miss it. He wants to destroy our soul. He does not want our soul to prosper. He does not want us to even live in hell. This is what God has promised us. This is what belongs to us as children of God. But until we meet God, we are a dwelling. Until we present ourselves pure before the Holy God, we will struggle to get this. And the enemy will be glad. The enemy will be happy. Why? Because he knows that we don't follow the laid down principle of getting what belongs to us, our inheritance, our possession, our rightful possession. She will be struggling to get food. Why are we struggling to get water? It's not because they are not there. It's just because he wants to make it hard for man to get. Hallelujah. Number two, what are these kind of possessions we are talking about? The physical possession and pro pro prosperity. Look at what the Bible says in Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66, 1 and 2. He said, God says the Lord, the heaven is my throne. The God we are talking about. The one that dwelleth in Mount Zion. He said, heaven is his throne and the earth is my footstool. He said, where is the house that ye build unto me? For all those things are mine. And I made thee by my hand. And those things have been, says the Lord. That's like, but to this man will I look, which man? Which man? Which man is God saying he's going to look? He said, the heaven is his throne. The earth, we are, you and I are. It's not God's fools too. We are God put his legs. <laughs> if I may say that. We are, he put his legs. He now says, we are the house you want to build unto me. 
He said, for all those things are mine. They are made by my own hand. All these things that we are talking about, they are made by my own hands. He said, but do this man, the man that meets God at Mount Zion, the man that visits God and stay with God on Mount Zion. He said, but to this man, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, trembling at my word. Those that are trembling at the word of God, he look at you, he look at me. Those that have the spirit, the contrite spirit, you are humble, you are gentle, you are sincere, you live a holy life. God says, but this man I look to, to prosper. In every way, he wants to prosper. He wants to give what belongs to us. He wants us to possess our possession. But he has put down this for me to help you, God. For him to help us, he needs our spirit to be in line with him. He needs us to follow this word in total without deviating. This is what he requires from man. This is what he wants from us. Hallelujah. What is this possession? Our wealth. He wants us to have wealth. In fact, he says in Isaiah 65, Isaiah 65, he said, the wealth of the Gentiles, he will transfer to us. But how will he transfer when we are not on Mosiah? When we are not found in the presence of God, when we are doing what be, what we, we deem fit is what we're supposed to do, when we are not found in his presence, when we are not found where God is. Remember, we are we, we read in Genesis, our very first parents. When God came, he said, We are down, we are down. Adam, we are down. Many of us, we are not where God wants us to be. And that is in his presence. We are the fullness of joy. The presence of God is where he wants us to be. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. As we, Amen. we are going to random now and we're going to prayer. I want us to look at this very critical, most yeah. important possession. The most important possession that God on Mount Zion is ready to give to you and I. What is the most, hallelujah. What is the most important? Look at John chapter 6, 47. John chapter 6, 47. Jesus said to his beloved, he said, very truly I tell you, the one who believes at eternal life, that is the ultimate. That's the most important of every possession. Eternal life. Eternal life. If you are not found on Mount Zion, man will lose it. Man will not be with Jesus at the end of the day. But he wants us to be there. That's why he said in that place, that main test. But on Mount Zion, it's like pleading. Say, yes, all this is happening. All this you are doing, it doesn't please me. However, there's a way out. Come to Mount Zion. And when you are coming, don't come dirty. When you are coming, make sure you belong to the family. And I guarantee you, you will possess your possession. Say, those that believe in me, for eventual, you're on this platform. Whatever platform you are linked up with, you are yet to embrace the saving grace of God. It is not late. Come. Come to Mount Zion. Come to the presence of God. The same John chapter 6, 54. 
He said, whoever eats my flesh, John 6, 54, and drinks my blood, has eternal life. And I will raise them up at the last day. This is the promise of the Father unto us. All of us that believe in his saving grace, he wants us to come to his side. He wants us to come to his side. John chapter 10, verse 28. John 10, 28, also buttress this. He said, I give them eternal life. Who are the dead? Those that come to Mount Zion. John 10, 28, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. That is to say, they will possess their possession. They will get eternal life. No one will snatch them out of my hand. Jesus was saying this emphatically. He knew this, that in as much as these ones are on, on Mount Zion, they are in the presence of my Father. They will never be snatched away from my hand. If we live our life as God wants us to live our life, He will make sure that we are in his presence on the last day because the one that snatches is in the world. John chapter 10, verse 10. John 10, 10. The thief cometh not, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's why God was talking to all that come to Mount Zion. There is deliverance. You will be delivered from every trap of the devil from every every entrance of the devil you will be delivered you will be delivered from every opposition from the camp of the enemy when we are in the presence of God hallelujah people of God the battle is tense the battle is not easy the battle is tough it is hard. It's fierce. But they that know their God, the Bible tells us in Daniel chapter 11, 32, they shall be strong and do great exploits. Those that know their God. Those that are among Zion. Those that are Pure, holy, sanctified, always in the presence of God. Those are the ones the Bible says shall be strong and they'll be able to do great exploits, possess their possessions. Only those. So I want to say, brethren, are you among those? Are you on Mount Zion? Have you decided to go to Mount Zion? The presence of God. When you do this, you will never regret it. Why? Because God will always fight your battle. Why? Because God will always be on your side. Why? Because God will always stand for you. Why? Because God will always fight for you. Why? Because God will always be on your side. Why? Because the enemy will not be able to fight you. Why? Because you will always live above and not beneath. Why? Because you don't need to fight. God, heaven will fight for you because you are on the side of God. You are the sign of Jehovah. Why? Because you are residing on Mount Zion. Why? Because you are always consistently on his side. He wants us to come up and stay there with him because on Mount Zion there is deliverance. There is what? Deliverance. And we will possess our possession. As we close, brethren, in case you are there, you are on YouTube, 
on Facebook or on Zoom. I beseech thee for you to go through this world and be counted and your soul get to his presence, which is your ultimate possession. Be on his side and he will guide you through in the name of Jesus. God bless you. By his grace, we will see in his presence because we will make it when the time comes. By his grace. Shall we pray? Shall we pray? The prayer I want us to pray is, Lord, let me be found in your presence. Lord, let me be found in your presence. Found in your presence in the name. Help me to be found in your presence. Help and no matter what, let me be found in your presence. Lord, because in your presence, be, I will get my deliverance. Let me be found. In your presence, me, I will be victorious. Let me be in your presence, oh Lord, I will live to satisfy you. Because I am in your presence, oh God, Father, my possession, the enemy will not take in the name of Jesus. Brethren, pray, pray, just be, just be praying there. I know you are praying. God knows you are praying and is going to answer you as you pray. Lord, help me to be in your presence. Lord, I do not know. Among Zion, there is deliverance. Oh Lord, help me, Lord. I will be in your presence. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We bless your name, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. And so our Father and our Lord, thank you for all your children. You know our heart and desire. You know what you want. We want the one who oh God. Lord, we know our state, Lord. But Lord, you have given us this platform, the platform to come unto you. They that comment unto you, you will not buy. No means, you will by no means cast out. Father, as your children marches up to you, we are you dwelling. Father, please embrace us. Amen. Embrace us, O oh God. Amen. And as we come to your presence, O oh Lord, the promise of deliverance. You will make it happen to us. Amen. And you will help us to possess our possession. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. and that of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Father. I pray for this ministry. Solid rock, oh God, Lord. Father, continue to make use of this outreach. Amen. Even to win souls to your kingdom. Amen. So when you come, oh God, you will find us doing your will. Amen. Bless you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 In Amen. Jesus' name. God bless you. Really. Amen. God bless you really good. I am blessed. If you are blessed, shout hallelujah. 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 I am blessed, and I know you are blessed as well. And um, this is uh, the Lord's doing. It does not happen just because we planned it, but it's happening because the Lord has made it so. I am blessed. I am richly blessed. Uh, wherever you are, I will, just want you to uh, pray for the man of God, uh, Pastor Luwale. Pray that the Lord will empower him. The Lord will strengthen him. The Lord will keep him. The Lord will increase him in wisdom. Abba Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that we the Lord will, will touch everything concerning him. Father, Lord, as he has been a vessel to bless us to die, O oh Lord, that you would increase him and he will move from glory to glory. Father, we pray for your son that you he will never know no sorrow. He will never know no sorrow. Father, we pray concerning his family that, Father, Lord, you will keep him. They will, they will continue to excel your power and your your power, your strength will overshadow them. Father, Lord, we cover him with your blood. Father, he will increase from strength to strength. 
Father, Lord, you will enlarge his course. Even the ministry that you have placed in his hands. Father, Lord, they will move from strength to strength and the, the glory of the Lord will shine upon them. Father, I will thank you for your, man, for your son that you have used tonight. Be thou exalted. Thank you, Lord, for answering prayers. Thank you, Lord, that you have used him to bless us tonight. Be thou exalted. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. If you have been blessed, shout hallelujah. Our God is good. Hallelujah. Uh, if you want to, uh, hallelujah. the Bible verses uh, will be available on uh, YouTube. You can go through this message once again. You know, sometimes when you listen to some messages and uh, you, you, yeah, you are getting into it and at the same time, uh, the Holy Spirit can, when you listen to it again, the Holy Spirit can also minister to you again and again and again. Uh, so endeavor to go through it and as you do so, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Pastor Luoli, for coming and we hope to have you again and again. God bless you, sir. Um, was one of the uh, things that we've been talking about. I'm going to throw this question just for um, uh, one, two minutes. Uh, there is a question asked about could the Mount Zion be Christ or giving our life to Christ today? Uh, I want uh, our daddy to put more light into that <laughs> uh, so that, because many people will ask questions. And I want us to, uh, don't see the question as anything, but I want us to see it as a way to, because iron sharp blade iron. God bless you, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. Um, Monzion, the presence of God, the kingdom of God, Monzion can also be seen as come to Jesus is the rock. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. So coming to Jesus, we are their deliverance. Come to the side of God can also be said to be Jesus. Amen. Amen. So the, the person that asked that question is right. So coming to the Father. Hello? Amen. I've met the person, so you can come into coming to Jesus. Come to Mount Zion, the presence of God, the kingdom of God, where God dwells, all the same. Because we are talking of Trinity here. We are talking of our holy God. We are talking of holiness. We are talking of we are just no, not just anything that can enter there. So it's right when you are talking of Mosiah, you can also refer to come to Jesus. Your deliverance is there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I hope that is clear. And um, I believe that... Um, as many that has questions, you can send a DM and um, we will uh, pass the question on. We want to learn. Everyone wants to learn. We want to grow in Christ. And um, there are times like this that we will ask questions. Please uh, let us endeavor to feel free to ask. That is why we are the platform. Well, that is what the platform is for. You know, hallelujah. God bless you really good, sir, uh, for answering that question. Um, uh, we meet every Wednesday on this platform from 7 to 8. I know the time has changed in Africa, with, well, especially West Africa. The, we are uh, the, in West Africa is one hour ahead. So we start from 8 to 9. If you want to join us from West Africa, 8 to 9. And uh, from uh, United States of America, is 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Please take note of the time. Take note of the time, and as you join us, the Lord will bless you really good, is my prayer. Next week is our um, praying, prevailing prayer with Pastor Edwin from ROCCG, uh, Waterford in Ireland, uh, and we're going to come together again at the same time, 7 to 8. 
to pray like never before. It's the second Wednesday of every month, and every third Wednesday is our messy, uh, messy hour uh, between the same time, 7 to 8 p.m., and uh, on the last Wednesday of the month is our Jubilee Lifetime. Um, we played a video last week. And um, I know a lot of people could not join. We apologize because the video could not be pro uh, projected from uh, Zoom. So we projected from the YouTube channel. And uh, we've combined those videos together. And um, we'll send the link. And we will replay that video again in the course of this month. So that because it's very, very uh, educative, it's very, very enlightening, it's very, it gives you courage. It tell, it gives, it lifts your spirit up. Uh, and I really want you us to uh, uh, learn from that. I will play that again. And um, please uh, stay tuned if you want. And if you need that video, we've combined it together and we can share with everyone. God bless you really good. Um, I will ask Pastor Abe to pray, give us a closing prayer, and we share the grace and go. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Uh, Father, we thank you once again for this platform. We thank you for everyone that are able to participate on this platform. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, for our pastor of the day, Pastor Oduwaliu Yenekon. We thank you for your spirit upon him. And we thank you for every minister of God on this platform. And we thank you for Solid Rock Evangelism. We pray that this platform will continue to expand. It will be a platform to expand your ministry and to share the word of God and to gain wisdom and knowledge. Father, we thank you for this evening, for what you have spoken. And we pray that the word that we hear today about possessing our possession we not elude any one of us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That as we have heard the word today, we all that have listened tonight or that will listen later, we all will be able to possess our possession in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, for this evening. We bless everyone that joined us today and that will, read, uh, that will listen to this message later, that your name and your name alone will be glorified continually, in this ministry, solid drug evangelism, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Um, shall we share the grace? And uh, before then, I just want you to take note of this Bible verse, the Romans, uh, Romans 14, 17. Uh, meditate on that word. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drinks, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Shall we share the grace? Amen. Fellowship. May grace. The grace of our Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord of And the Your fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Be blessed. Amen. Amen. Bless the pastor. Of goodness and mercy. All the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the heart of the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you all. Thank you, sir. More anointing. Thank you, sir. More anointing. More grace. Pastor, more grace. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless. Amen. Amen.